We're going to turn now to a growing issue in our nation's schools. As the school year is ending for millions of students, districts across the country are facing millions of unpaid meal debt. Ike Jachi met a Virginia mom who is raising money to settle the bill in her area. Good morning, Ike. Good morning, Juju. This is a major issue in school districts across the country. Mountain school lunch debt that can take away money from a school's key resources. It was a problem Adele Settle refused to ignore. She feels a student's ability to pay should never get in the way of their success. How about some broccoli? Food is so crucial and such a critical part of all of our lives. For years, Adele Settle has been raising money, one call or social media post at a time, so that Virginia students focus on their studies and not their stomachs. I want to make sure that no school is left holding the lunch bag, so to speak, for so many kids that haven't been able to pay their lunch debt. According to the USDA, an average 460 million meals are served to children nationwide each month through the National School Lunch Program. More than 70% of those meals are offered for free or at a reduced price. And this school year, students are amassing record lunch debt. According to the School Nutrition Association, districts across the country already reporting $19.2 million in lunch debt accumulated by November of last year. I got to believe that's doubled or tripled since. When you've got an unpaid meal debt, it, it's got to be paid for. So it will eventually fall to the general fund. In Prince William County, the second largest school district in Virginia, schools have already racked up more than $300,000 worth of lunch debt. Is that number surprising to you? No, um, pretty typical, honestly. We knew our families were a little confused coming back from the pandemic and not understanding that meals had a cost associated with them. During the pandemic, schools were provided waivers to offer free lunch for all students. But that provision ran out at the beginning of this school year. Five states have stepped in to make universal school lunch permanent in their states. Four have passed temporary measures and at least 23 more have pending legislation. What are the challenges to getting students to sign up for these free and reduced meals? I think one of the biggest barriers is people have pride and they don't necessarily want a handout from a government entity. Something Settle knows all too well. There were times where I might have just gone without lunch instead of applying for free and reduced um, because my mom was very proud and she didn't want to take advantage of, of any programs if she didn't absolutely have to. In 2017, she started a nonprofit called Settle the Debt. Since then, she's raised more than $190,000 to pay off lunch debt in her district, more than 50,000 this year alone. A big help, but a band-aid on a bigger problem. When it comes down to it, what does success look like to you? Oh, going out of business. When Settle the Debt is no longer needed and we can close our doors and not raise any more money for a school meal debt because there's no more need. Thank you. Now, Settle is currently on a mission to affect change on the state level. She has already advocated for 10 bills in Virginia that have passed. And she says right now, because of her work, kids in the state can no longer be given a lesser meal or have their entire meal thrown out if they don't have the money for it. She's now working to help pass universal free lunch in her state. Guys, oh, good so, for her. So yeah. important. There's yeah. so many kids that rely on school to get perhaps their only meals no. of the day. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.